What's up, mortgage coach community? Dave Savage coming to you live out of Portland, Oregon, and I am sitting down with Kevin Carlson. Kevin, what's up, my friend? Hey, how you doing, Dave? Good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you. Where are you coming to us live from? I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, where I can actually see the smoke from Oregon all the way over here. And uh, I can't smell it as, as well as you can, which uh, I'm feeling for you over there, brother. Well, you know, I'll tell you, it was a, it was a rough couple weeks. Um, fortunately, I was not in an evacuation zone, but I certainly was in the smoke zone of the yeah. most unhealthy air in the world, I've been told. And it, it, was, it was amazing. I had just never been in smoke, that bad of smoke for that many days. But yeah. uh, it's blue out there right now, man. So we're, we're blessed. You know, That's it's good. still burning. Still, a lot of families are being impacted and it's horrible. But a lot of families have also gotten blue sky and hopefully we get rain tomorrow. So. Yeah, no doubt, man. We'll sp send in positive vibes and rain your way as much as we can. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Well, let's, let's get into a, a how you use Mortgage Coach. I know I interviewed you in the past. Um, folks, if you want to hear more about Kevin and his mortgage practice, how he's turning borrower education into a competitive advantage, how I, I would just say a modern mortgage professional, check that interview out too. But let's, let's talk about your mortgage practice and let's talk about how you're using Mortgage Coach to create value for the families that you serve and for the agents that you represent. So yeah, absolutely. Tell yeah, us about so, your practice. Yeah. And thanks again for the opportunity, Dave. I, um, I really try to integrate mortgage coach in everything we do. I, I, about five years ago, I threw out any of the stuff that I was doing before. I've been doing this since 1997. And so over that time, you develop your own little scripts and your own little ways of doing things. And it was all had to do with notebook paper though, when it came down to it. And it just was not a very good, you know what I mean? A uh, way to communicate and to advise and to, like you said, kind of differentiate myself from the competition. And so I just completely threw all that out. And now we do a mortgage coach analysis for uh, virtually every client that we, that we uh, work with. And it is, it's completely exploded my business in a good way. Uh, not blowing it up, but blowing it up in a good way. I love that. I'm glad that it's not blowing it up in a bad way. <laughs> that would so, be bad. so folks, when I'm looking at my computer, I'm not, I am multitasking but it's for the purpose to make this interview better. Uh, this is live in our YouTube channel, or not live in our YouTube, it's live in our Facebook group. And then it will be pushed as a recorded asset into our YouTube channel. So if you're watching on YouTube, it was recorded. But guys, get in the Mortgage Coach Facebook group. Not only are we having live content in there just about every day of the week, but you guys can interact. And it looks like we've got over a dozen people interacting with us right now. Uh, right. Let us know where you're coming to us live in comments and any questions you have during the conversation. So how, how many loans are you closing a month right now? Just give us a feel for your, your volume. Uh, this month is a record for me. It's got, I've got 105 closing this month, just myself, and then uh, whoa, whoa, got a team whoa, as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. How many? 105, which I'm very proud of, considering the small market that we're in, so. You know, I, I do a lot of interviews. I interview a lot of just huge folks, and I remember when I heard, oh, you closed 45 loans this month? I'm like, Amber Kovarik, oh yeah. my gosh. I talked to Jeremy. You closed, I can't remember who it was, 61 loans last month. Dude, right. you're closing over 100? That is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it is ridiculous. And again, it's a lot of it has to do with just the interest rate environment that we're in right now. And obviously, it's just uh, an insane time to be in the business. But I really do attribute, there's no way you can actually do that much business and that much volume and provide any level of service unless you're really dialed in and, and, and efficient. And that is... I mean, not to just like totally toot your horn, but that is what Mortgage Coach does. We're able to communicate a lot of information in a very short period of time. We're able to give them really good value added um, uh, information where they can, it's a visually rich interface with people just dig. I don't know how many times I've had people just say, hey, I really like your presentation. Nice job. I, that, that's fantastic. It's all the information I need to know. And so I feel like I'm able to leverage that technology and um, it's really working for us over here. Wow. Well, that's, that's a just incredible amount of volume. And that takes me to a place in terms of time savings. Cause I think a lot of people look at mortgage coach. They're like, okay, it's better. Like I get it. If I was a family getting into mortgage debt, I would appreciate that. But I think a lot of loan officers don't see the time savings. So let's, does it save you 10%, 20%? Like how oh, much no. of a benefit is it? I mean, right now it's, it's doing all the selling for me, frankly. Um, so the way it, uh, my process is right now, I'll we'll kind of go through and figure out, we'll try to identify clients we've worked with in the past. 
and we'll kind of figure out, all right, who, who do we want to go after this week? We'll do a quick text out. Hey, it looks like um, I looked over your stuff here. I looked up, I might be able to save you some money. Would you mind if I did a quick analysis for you to see? No sales pitch, I promise. Just want to see if I can save you some money, you know? And that simple text is a very simple way to, uh, uh, I mean, very few people say, no, I'm not interested in saving money. They, they want in, they want to know what's going on. Um, so we'll send that text out. And then as soon as uh, they respond back, boom, uh, my team starts setting up the uh, mortgage coach presentation. We've really got you know, one kind of go-to that we could do every time for rate and term refinances. We've got a separate one that we do for purchases. Um, we can kind of demonstrate that here in a little bit so you can kind of see exactly what I'm looking at on those. Um, but it becomes a thing where we, uh, we go through it, we, we uh, uh, show it to the client, and then I do a little video as part of the deal. And then I put right on there, this is the way to uh, apply. Here's the online link to apply. And on the on the email, and then uh, in a lot of cases, it just happens from that point forward. So all of the sales is done. Obviously, we've already built the relationship, so that part of it's huge. Um, but for those types of re for this type, this, the timing of where we're at now, the fact that we're in this low interest rate environment, we're able to really capitalize on that in a, in a, in a big way. Well, here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna. I've done so many interviews like this. We're gonna totally drill down on what Kevin's doing, like get specific, see how he's showing his TCAs, how he's calling it to the bar, what his scripts are. And then I'm gonna share a few takeaways from some other interviews that I've done, get Kevin's perspective on that. Uh, guys, I have you know Facebook Live right here. So if you have a question, put it in here. Also, if you're watching this live, I'd love to know how many loans are you closing this month? And, Guys, even if it's not a you know crazy record-breaking number, um, we'd love to know. We'd love to know you know who's watching this right now in a live environment. What kind of production you're doing, and any questions you have. So, Kevin, let's get into it. Why don't you? You said that you text the client to get their engagement, sure. and then once you get their engagement, they're like, "Yeah, I want to see the numbers." Are you emailing that, or are you texting that? Typically, emailing it. Yeah. So we've got so kind then of you're email emailing that. Yeah, let's let's pull up a TCA that represents a story and a strategy and tell us a story and show us how you're delivering mortgage coach on a lot of your refunds right now. You bet. I'll tell you when I see your screen. Baboom. Baboom is the mortgage and coach side of thing. Yeah, this is we call this the advice engine, guys. You know what you're looking at is where Kevin inputs it, uh, which brings up another question. Do you do the setup? Of the TCA, or do you have a, a team member that does? Uh, you know what? Um, I used to do them all, and now we've had kind of hand that off to the team. I found that it's something you can very easily teach, and so it's uh, they're setting up by ninety percent of them right now. Okay, and so then, your team is setting up the total cost analysis. Right. So they'll uh, set it up, and then I'll do the video portion of it. So <laughs> what winds up happening is I wind up being the bottleneck. You know, I've got like I've got like six of them I got to do before I leave here today. And uh, I know I've done a couple of them this morning. And so, you know, they're waiting on me and they're kind of tapping me on the shoulder saying, come on, man, we're, we're, we're waiting on you here. And uh, so, so I'll just kind of dig in, make sure everything's right. I'll do a quick video and, uh, and hit send. And there's kind of an email template. I can maybe show you what that looks like. But we kind of have a, a, a screen built or an email template built. So we just, all I have to do is, it, you know, literally just plug in the link, you know, hey, Dave, you know, and right, right, in the, right in the Dave, plug in the link and hit send. It's very, very efficient. Um, what, so, what percentage of them are you putting a video on? 100%. Okay, so the video is super important to the time savings. Absolutely, yeah, because I mean, I'm able to kind of, you know, go through and uh, add some personality to it, if nothing else, and, um, and talk through, you know, kind of the sales pitch of it, which right now, there's not a lot of sales you really have to do with, you know, the math of it just is too beautiful. So let's see here. All right, so it's kind of looking at a TCA, he's getting ready to pull it up. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it, but in the upper right-hand corner, there was a little button where you could do preview and live. It's a, it's not a brand new feature, but it's a feature that I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, yeah. Scroll to the top real quick. I just want to call out guys, notice that he's got his branding it has got his personal information. Uh, and then go ahead and walk us through the numbers and give us a feel for how you would, how you would frame this for the client. Yeah, so if I, I'll just do the normal video that I would do. I would just say, um, hey Dave, Kevin Carlson here from Plains Commerce Bank. Uh, first off, it was great talking on the phone here earlier today. Thanks for taking the time to go through everything with me. 
Uh, this is that analysis that we kind of talked through on the phone. I'm going to start you in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. It's going to show you the summary, and it's going to basically compare what you're doing now to what the available options would look like to refinance. So uh, the first one you can see, you're, uh, looks like you're at about 4% uh, right now in your existing loan. If you were to redo it, I looked at a couple of different configurations here. The first one is at 2.5%, so we can get you down quite a bit from where you're at. Um, the, um, well, I guess it updated that stuff. I did this analysis about um, uh, eight months ago uh, for another presentation. It looks like it's got cash out coming out. So never mind the cash out part. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Anyway, so it talks about the 2.5% uh, is kind of a normal one for lower interest rate and 2.625% is has a little bit better closing cost to it and the low cost options at 2.875%. So no matter how you slice it, you're gonna be in a much better position than where you're at now. And you can see the, there's a more info tab up there in the summary section, it'll show you, uh, if you click that, that'll take you to some back screens, you can see exactly what assumptions I'm making for what goes into your uh, monthly payment and also what the closing costs look like. But if you pick me up and kind of drag me over to the left side of the screen, I want to show what's on the right side. This is all the analytics. The top's going to show you the monthly payment savings. And you can see right now, uh, the first one saves you about 250 bucks a month, uh, which is ridiculous. And the second one saves you about 233. And the third one, even the one with low cost, saves you $210 per month. Um, I have a litmus test. I do not recommend people refinance their house unless you're going to break even on the closing costs within three years. And that's just my personal assumption. And I feel like it's too difficult to predict life after three years out. So I always like to run an analysis to see where you're at at month 36. That's that middle section over here. You can see you have handily broken even on the closing cost by month 36. You're $7,700 to almost $10,000 ahead by the 36th month. But the really the, the, the jaw dropper of the whole thing, if you look in the lower right hand corner, it's gonna show you the total amount of interest that you're set to pay out on your existing loan versus what it would look like post refinance. You can see right now, these are always the numbers that make you sick, by the way, but from this point forward, you're set to pay out $215,000 in interest. And by refinancing it, even if you take the money and run, even if you just reduce your payment and start your 30 year term over, you're still coming down from 215 to 138,000, which is again, just ridiculous. Um, but that last one on there in the lower right hand corner of the screen shows you from this point forward, you will save, um, uh, instead of paying 215,000, if you keep making the same payment you're making now, it's one of those refinance, but act like you didn't refinance and just keep making the 2115 that you've been making, that's working for you. Um, you're gonna come down from 215,000 to 105,000. You're gonna take it from 28.58 years down to 23.33 years, knock about five years of payments off the back end of the note. It just saves you a ton of money. So look this over, refinancing is really straightforward. Um, we can do everything online, blah, 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 blah. And uh, give me a call if you have any questions. Boom, guys, you just got a world-class script from a loan officer that's doing over a hundred loans this month. And, and where he just left the competition in the dust is when he went from monthly benefits and he starts showing more transparency. Clearly, if you're a family and he showed the cost over three years, which was a super smart move. Wasn't five years, it was three years. Like in three years, you're gonna do it. He's like, I'm looking out for you and I'm showing you transparency. No other loan officer is doing that. And then he's, okay, that's not enough. He, he had enough to win the business, win the trust, deliver value beyond his competition. But then he shows the value over the life of the loan, you know, which guys, this is what the best loan officers in America do to go from price to advice and deliver value beyond just the transaction. So dude, that was, that was a, you know, on a, a nine, that script was a nine. Uh, and uh, there were a couple things that I'm gonna show you that I think would be interesting. Please. Go, go, leave, leave this up on the screen, but I want you to, well, I wanna see on the desktop, the advice engine, and I want you to go to this borrower in the advice engine, you know, so go, go to the data input side. Okay. The next tab, yep. And okay, this is the client. So a couple things I want you guys to notice here. In the upper right hand corner, he could have added a video, which it sounds like he adds a video um, most of the time, all the time. He yep. could, if he had the client on the phone, click live and really walk them through it. But I want to I want to go to the analyst tab, go to analyze in, yep. in this client. And you'll you'll notice guys, he, he has it six, 36 months. You want to make sure you guys know you can set that up as a default. So mortgage coach comes out of the out of the box. I think at a five year, a yeah, five year and default. fifteen year, yeah. Yep, but you could change the default, so it just always is the same. 
just heads up. But I, I recommend you tailor that. Like 36 is a good one for the generic refi. But if you talk to the client and they have a different number, put in a different number. Totally. Now I want you to adjust where it says long-term chart type. Yep. I want you to change that uh, to well, the one right below it. Yeah, that one. I want you, no, 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 don't go to, yeah, right there. And go to net worth. Okay, now, now switch screens just so that saves. Go to another screen and then go back into the consumer experience. I see. So, I, and I don't know if this is going to be a better way to look at it, but I think it would be interesting. Yeah, it's not going to change that much. So, no, you did it. He did it the right way. Um, let me show you an example, guys, of when that screen is the way to go. So, you know, when you're doing a rate and term refi and everything's the same, what he did is exactly how you should do it. But let me show you an example. Amber Kovarik closed 45 loans the month that we did this. She's a mother of two. Exactly what he's doing. She's doing her refis after hours, like after kids go to bed. She's doing refi TCAs and then pretty much what you're doing, sending them out via email, you know, between the video and the TCA client says, let's go. Well, let's, let's talk about a move up here. So, so in this particular case, the family could have refined, but one of the questions that she asks every family nowadays is she asks them, is this house still working for you? Mm -hmm. uh, and she's saying about 20, 25% of the people after the way she asked the question, she'll just ask it. And then, I mean, she puts a little color around it based on her personality, based on her market. But then guys, check out what she's doing. I mean, she's delivering this beautiful presentation. She's showing, here's your refi. And then she say, you know what? To get that extra bedroom that you said you wanted in that school district that you wanted, that's an extra $100,000. And your payment would go up by $507. So, so let's think about that. Refi, move up your house. Now, they could have bought contingent. And she said, and you know what else you could do? Because this client had equity, you could take that equity after you sell your other home and you could recash your mortgage and bring down your monthly payment to $164. So basically this family can get the home they want and they can lower their monthly payment. Now guys, check this out. They could also say, hey, what if you put that equity in an asset accumulation account? And this is what I was going with, with Kevin. Now in this particular case, the way he changed the chart type, if he would have left it with the one he had, it wouldn't have looked as good. But when he did this, it makes it clear. You know what? Not only are you putting money in the bank, you know, you're getting liquidity, you're improving your equity and your net worth, and you're getting your dream home. Then guys, check it out. Listing agent gets a new listing, agent gets a move up buyer. What, what are your thoughts on that, Kevin? Have you ever done one of those? Yeah, I have actually, and I, and, I mean, who that really appeals to is a financial planner. You know, if you're trying to kind of court a business with a financial planner and you're able to actually see, well, this is what I'm going to talk to your clients about. And, and part of that has, I had a guy actually called me last week that was a client of a financial planner and he was looking at, you know, investing or selling this house and investing all the money in the down payment. And I said, I don't know, do you want to put all that much money down? You know, this, this is really cheap money right now. Don't you think that you could have gotten a better rate of return than the two and a half percent that you'd be <laughs> paying down on this if you gave it back to Gabe. Oh, I didn't think about that, you know? So that's a, that's a conversation you're able to have a little higher level uh, with the customer. And absolutely, if you can actually plug that in, I'm not run, I'm gonna run one of these now after you said that for that guy, that's a great idea. Let me ask you one more thing and then I wanna ask some lead gen questions and ask you a few more things on how you're using Mortgage Coach. So when I interviewed Josh Metal on the questions he's asking, how he's doing it. One of the things he's doing, I thought it was pretty clever, is that when he sends, he sends the refi text too. Seems like that's a common trend. And he's always talking about, hey, I've looked at your loan and I think I could save you X a year. So he's always kind of like selling the bigger term, uh, whether it's a call or it's a text. Have you ever, what are your thoughts on that strategy? I think that's great. I, the, as far as getting into the specifics, I like teasing them a little bit more. I don't actually tell, I wanted to say, hey, let's, I just want to take a look at it. Would that be okay? You know, I just want to get a very low barrier to entry. Would so, you send but, me, I would like to have, you know, cause there's a lot of ways to skin this fish. Of course. Would you, would you mind forwarding me the exact, like, just like I have Jared, his words, forward that after the call so we can Absolutely. add that. 
Yeah. And then I would also like, like, these are the four questions that Josh always asked, you know, do you still like your home? Uh, how long do you think you'll be in your home? Do you have, when do you want to be mortgage free? And, and what are the non mortgage debt you'd like to consider paying off? So those are like four questions he always asked. Right. What are, what are your three or four questions that you like? I ask everybody these three or four right. strategic questions. Absolutely. Well, the first one, I, in the case of a purchase, for instance, I always ask, and I stole this from uh, Robin LeVar. Yeah, I don't know her last name, but Robin from Portland. I think she's from your area. Yeah, Robin is a little south of Portland. She's out of Eugene. She's awesome okay. she's with Summit Mortgage and yep. uh, Mortgage Coach user. And yeah. she's been through Amplify. Yeah, she's uh, and the best scripts on the planet. So I some really? totally stole this she's from amazing. her. Yeah, and uh, she asked people, okay, uh, give me your happy number and your max number. Like, where do you want to be from a payment standpoint? Give me your happy number and your max number. And then after they give the max number and say, okay, so it's uh, 2000 a month. So if, if it was 2100, would that be, w w you would say no. Well, I might uh, squeeze to 2100. Okay, because normally that's how it goes. You go happy number, max number, and they wind up going right about here, you know. Uh, so it's good to know that going in. But then I know what the guardrails are. And when I, I'll send out a kind of a rent versus own analysis, for instance, and we'll say, all right, I've got my bottom number at 1500 a month, uh, my top number as 2000 a month, as they said was their max number, and I'll do a middle of the road at, at 175, at uh, 1750 per month. So I, that kind of plays right into the kind of the mortgage coach stuff. Um, so, so time out. So your, for purchase strategies, the TCAs you're providing, you always ask them what's your happy numbers, number and your happy max number. number. Yep. your max number and then you're providing is it two options or like three or four i'll do i'll do three options what three I do is purchase I, options right so I'll, I'll say okay well here I'll show, can i do this another screen share of course you may Fantastic. so guys we're getting a refi a guy who did 100 loans this year how he's using mortgage coach for refis how he's using mortgage coach for purchases and and i hope you got the takeaway so he can go faster and be more efficient with his clients speed matters how much time do you think mortgage coach saves you? Is it like 10, 20%? Like if you put a, you had to put a, a number on it. I mean, I used to spend, I, they used to make fun of me because my, my appointments were always an hour long. Like I would sit there face to face for at least an hour to go through everything. And now it's literally, they set up the thing. I have to sit here for maybe five, 10 minutes and just double check everything, do the video and then redo the video and redo the video. I mean, it's all on me because I stutter through it and then I have to start over, but that's it, you know, that's uh, 10 minutes and I'm off. And then I'll, I'll do a follow-up call to answer questions. And I literally, this does all the heavy lifting for me. And I have to like- So it's like a, a 50% time savings and plus. it's enhancing consumer experience and consumer value. So you're- Without question, yeah. And it, what about from a production, if you had to put a number, like does mortgage help, close, help you close 10, 20, 25% more business? It's, what it's, would be the multi- production enhancement? It would be an exponential. It, I mean, it, I look back at what I was doing before I started going to All Mortgage Coach. You know, it's a fraction of what I'm doing now. It's it's you know, three x, five x. It's it's much much better. So it's safe to assume if we promise, like when we're selling Mortgage Coach, we promise 25% improvement in conversion, and we commit to at least a 30% savings in in time and efficiency, and that's. It sounds like you're getting a lot more, but you think that there's no one that we couldn't deliver that kind of value for. I think that would be, unless they're not using it, yeah, I mean, unless they're not using it, obviously, but I mean, if you're actually going through and using it, and the thing is that it's like any habit, getting the habit of doing it every time they get part of your routine, it, it changes the whole business, completely blows the doors off it. All right, man, let's okay. check out this purchase strategy, guys. And if you're live in Facebook and you have a question, uh, put it in comments and I'll be sure to bring it into the conversation. If you're watching the recording in YouTube, we'll still get your question answered. It'll just be via text. Can you see this okay? Yeah, we see it great. Okay, great. So uh, this would be just a rent to own and or you know, rent versus own analysis. We have the rent part over here. And then for this particular client, they said, okay, I'm renting I'm $1,200 a month for my rent. Uh, $1,000 a month is my happy number. And about 1250 is about as high as I want to go. That's my, that's my uh, screaming uncle point. And so I said, great. So I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you over an analysis. It's going to give you three different price points. One's going to be at your happy number and one's going to be at your max number. And I'm going to have one kind of in the middle. 
it gives me four different slots here though. There's the rent and then the three. There's a fourth slot that I can use. I use that as my revolving door, which means that if you're out there in the field, first of all, you can refer back to this thing and you can see, okay, this, this house is, uh, I've got the one for 180,000, I've got the one for 200,000. This one's 190. You can kind of triangulate based upon what I've got here, roughly what the payments are gonna be. But if you find a place that's a real contender, one that you really like, um, send it over to me, text me the address, I'm gonna plug it in to that fourth slot and I'll plug in the exact property taxes. If the interest rates have changed, I'll put, plug that in as well. So you know exactly what you're getting into before you pull the trigger on something. So what does that do? First of all, that is a, um, it gives them the guardrails to use when, because I'll CC their agent on this, because the guardrails to use when they're doing their uh, searches. They know, well, the realtor knows that they really don't wanna go above 200,000. I might have a private conversation with the agent and say they can actually go up to 250 if they want to. If you find a house, it's a steal and it's 210, they have our blessing. But this is where they want it to be. They're self-imposed budget guidelines because 30 years is a lot of bad karma. I do not want to bury you in a payment and have you hate me for 30 years. I want this to be a good, a good experience for you and make sure that you come back to me you know, five years and you buy your new house, your next house. But the other thing that it does is it, it cuts down severely on the number of phone calls that I get. It's not like every house I find, you know, hey, how much is this one? Hey, how much is this one? Hey, how much is this one? I just say, check out that thing I sent you. And you can kind of get a feel for where things are at. And then when you find the one, call me. And then I'm, uh, again, doing the uh, customized analysis for them with the property taxes plug in. Everything's right on, spot on. And they feel really good about that. They're, oh, thank you. That's, I, I, I say, I do that for, I, I'll do my pre-qualification letters, for instance. I make them property specific. And I do that for two reasons. First of all, I want to make sure that we have a conversation, you know, before you make your offer. And second is, I don't want to tip our hand to the seller, you know, and let them know that you're pre-qualified for 250 if you're only offering 200. Uh, but the idea on this, again, is to try to uh, be efficient, but also provide really good service. And it, it just, it hits both those uh, marks really well. And how often are you putting a video on the purchase strategies? 100% of the time. So are you getting the message, guys? Video matters. I just interviewed Kelly Zitlow this morning. She's already done over 100 million in production. And it was, I think the headline was, video is no longer an option. Uh, we're going to be doing a modern mortgage summit on 10 20 2020. It's going to be a mega virtual summit. It's actually Todd Bookspan's event. I'm helping, I'm co-hosting it and helping design the content, but I, you know, in the, in the thought and the research on it, it's no longer an option. If you want to be a professional mortgage professional, you need to use your CRM. You have to use a point of sale solution to make it faster, easier, and better to do the app. You have to use mortgage coach so that you're delivering more than rate and fee. You're delivering strategy. You're making it mobile friendly. It, it's easier, faster, and better. You have to use video. It's no longer an option. It makes it's it's easier and it's faster. So, I, am I right? Is is it actually faster and easier for you to put a video than actually write up an email? Hundred percent. Yeah. And here's the thing: don't worry about if it's imperfect. People like it if it's imperfect. You know, if I go through and stutter over myself, which happens all the time, I'm like, oh, I cannot stink and talk today, and then I just keep going. Like this person, I'm a human being then at that point. And people want to interact with a human being. They just want to talk to some bot or something, you know. This is, this is a competitive advantage right now. When you're up against things, places like Quicken Loans or places that have a, uh, an automated chat box in the corner, this is how we kind of express our humanity. And it's a very important key piece of what we're doing. And, and I assume you use your CRM. So four mm -hmm. pieces of technology that if you master them, if you become efficient with them, you'll be faster, you'll be better, and you will close more business. So let's go back to your advice engine and then let's go into a wrap up mode. Uh, you've, you only committed to a half hour and I'm a few minutes over, but I wanna, it, it, can we go for like three more minutes? You bet, Show the advice engine real quick. No, I wanna go pull back up. I wanna go into the input screen. I wanna show a few things to folks that are watching this. Okay. Uh, so, so guys, make sure you put videos on it. Um, I'm going to show you where to hit the video button. If you could hit that video button real quick, just hit it and go ahead and hit it one more time. Uh, okay. No, no, yeah, hit okay. No, not cancel. Okay, yep. My kids then, say, okay, boomer. 
Yeah, and then and then guys, you're gonna see here, you could add the video via text, or excuse me, via your mobile phone. So it would pull up your mobile phone and you'd leverage the power of your mic and your camera on your mobile, or it looks like you use um, browser and you could also put an audio note. Now click back one more time. I wanna show one more thing in the advice engine. Go back to the other tab, boom. Uh, go to settings really quick uh, in the upper right-hand corner. Guys, gamification. You notice that he has created 2,351 total cost analysis. Uh, and you'll notice they have been viewed 9,376 times. So guys, he created one report and he's getting over five people. It's like five to one ratio. So what does that mean? It means he's created this dynamic link that, and by the way, when he clicks on it, it doesn't show up. It only shows up when someone outside of his account is clicking on it like a real estate agent, like a father-in-law that's loaning on a down payment, like a buddy at work who's trying to get their lender to do the deal. Like, like the people that are clicking on this five to one are, the, are how he's creating efficiency. He's building brand. Uh, anything else before we go into wrap up mode you wanna show on your screen? Yeah, I'll do two things. Well, uh, just a couple of comments. First off, you're, you're spot on. I love it when my phone blows up all of a sudden. It's like, I can see the same person accessed it like 10 times in a row because i know all they did was they forwarded on to their buddies you know what i mean and they're all looking at hey check this out bam i get instant marketing that way it's absolutely beautiful i didn't do a thing didn't lift a finger <clears throat> the other thing i'll just mention is i've been doing this for a long time you know and so we're able to kind of leverage the the database that i have what i'm really proud of is i got a new team member um that started with me a year ago just kind of on the front side of things he just transitioned into being a junior loan officer this month very first month in the business, he, all he knows is mortgage coach. That's how he you know, de dove in right out of the gate. Close, he's closing 2 million in his very first month. And even more proud of it is he's closing 3 million in his second month. Um, so that's a really good, hot out of the, out of the shoot uh, beginning for someone. And it's because he had this as kind of his underpinnings. I swear to God, this has a, has a big influence. So you, you just did it to yourself. We're gonna have to do another interview with you and him where we're doing young gun and mentor interview about how you helped him fast track his success. So um, something else to note here, guys, you notice that he's created 1,176 1, videos. So there was a time, you know, like gives credibility. He's doing them all, but there was a time like his first thousand TCAs you didn't, what was the pivot point when you decided, you know, I'm going to start putting a video on it. Like when it was about, you know, so it looks like it's a couple years ago. What, what was it that got you to go, you know, I need to start putting a video on all these things. Yeah. Um, just the response. You do a couple. Yeah. You, it's, it's, it's intimidating the first couple that you do because you want them to be perfect. But as soon as you get over that, then people, and you just know that the response is automatic and you can, again, just inject your personality. Don't worry about perfection. Just worry about, you know, talking to the person like they're sitting there in front of you and explaining the numbers. Um, and it, I don't know, the response was the, was the automatic thing that uh, got me to do it. Everybody so liked it. So feed, kept going. Feedback and, and speed, I'm sure, to do volume. Now, don't click on it, but hover your mouse over the Grandmaster badge. Just hover your mouse over that, the badge. Grandmaster badge. The actual, yep. yep. Now, just to the right of that, there's a box with an arrow pointing out of it, where it says TCA is created in a box with an arrow pointing out. Uh, no, 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 just, just <laughs> literally inches away from your badge go back okay. to your badge now yeah. two inches to the right yeah it's no, uh, yeah boom click on that box so i'm showing this just because <laughs> he mentioned that he's mentoring other loan officers and we realize like if you're watching this this is a guy who's done over 2000 tca so yeah it's faster than him this is a guy that's done over a thousand videos so he's got pretty good at it it's a guy that could do 100 loads this month so he's he's got a lot of reps under his belt, but I don't care if you're brand new, we, we walk you through a startup process. And I believe that by the time you've created your, somewhere between your seventh and your 12th TCA, it's gonna start saving you time. The first one, it's not gonna save you time. I mean, you're figuring out how to use software for the first time, maybe the first five suck. And if you don't have good keyboard skills and you, you don't learn technology easy, maybe the first 10 or 20 suck. But, you know, the better you are with technology, somewhere between 10 and 20, you have a superpower. You go from, I'm a, and here's the way I would 
kind of close it out and I'd love to get your feedback on it. It's you go from being, you know, hang on, can you see my screen? Hang on. Boy, I have a little tech issue there. You can still hear me, right? Yeah. All right, let's try to share my screen one more time. All right. So you you have a choice to make. You can either be the status quo fee worksheet loan officers, rate, payment, cash to close, transactional triangle. Um, that is how you, you know, create a commodity experience, or you can be a mortgage planner. And if you deal with mortgage coach, you go and you're going from price to advice. So, so Kevin, let's close out with, and I don't know if you can remember when you started learning, but any advice you have to a loan officer that's watching this to help them, you know, go from price to worksheet to advice. You know, it's, it's hard right now because things are going so fast, you know, and sometimes it's hard to work on the engine when you're on the interstate, right, going 100 miles an hour. But I mean, taking the time to learn this craft, if you want to make a career out of this and not just make a couple of quick bucks, if you're just getting started, this is anyone that started here, if they come in and I kind of do a little mentorship thing with them, the first thing I tell them is, okay, your first step, and I don't mean to sound all like fanboy about this, Dave, but this has totally changed my whole practice here my whole uh career get mortgage coach learn how to use it use the interview that it, it walks you through it's a great way to interface with the customer and just do it every single time and i know that's i know i'm doing a commercial for you but i've been evangelizing for you a long time i just i really appreciate what you've done here what you've built it's, it's great stuff well it, it gives you a result i mean that's at the end of the day um we're business friends. It's not like, uh, you know, this is something where you use it and it's just so authentic that you, you get value from it. And so you're not a fanboy. You're just a guy that is using a piece of technology that's killing it for you. So, um, dude, for a guy that's close to this much business, super grateful for the 40 minutes you dumped into the mortgage coach, <coughs> the mortgage coach community. That's what makes this community awesome is we have people like Kevin that make time to create video for our YouTube channel, content for our Facebook group. If you got value from today's call, give it a like. Um, Kevin, I really appreciate you, not only what you're doing for the greater community, but the change you're making in your local community. You know, the families that get a loan from you are, are lucky, um, you know, versus the fee worksheet, they're getting some advice. And, and thank you for the help that you do with your company and Chris Vinson and the whole crew over there. Uh, really appreciate you being a, I don't know, a change agent for Mortgage Coach. Well, I appreciate you, Dave. Thanks a lot. It's all my pleasure on this side of things, and uh, keep killing it, man. All right, man. Take care, brother. Have Take a care. have a good one, man. Bam. Sounds good. Oh, how do I do this? There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Take care, brother. You too.